Many people on this earth suffer from hair loss problems. This video, I would like to talk about the mistakes that people do so that you don't do the same mistakes and we can learn from the mistakes of other people. The first mistake is thinking that DIYs or home remedies are going to help them in new hair growth or fixing their hair loss problems. 99% of the time it happens because of some of the problems inside our body so just fixing it from outside it's not going to help and it's waste of your time waste of your energy and waste of your finances so if you are suffering from severe hair fall you should concern to a doctor or you should try to find the answer within yourself what's lacking what's the problem then only this problem can be solved what are the main reasons you can say for hair fall? I always say it. I have said it in lots of videos. I'll repeat it again over here. It's lack of vitamin D3 or lack of iron or ferritin in the body or it's hormonal disbalance. It can be thyroid issue or it can be PCOD or PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome or disease as you would like to say it. But anyways, these are the major reasons why a person suffers from hair loss. Second recommendation is about using too much products on your hair. People think if hair are falling, they can use this shampoo, this serum, this conditioner, this oil, and things will change for good. And maximum of time, I don't say 100%, but maximum of time, no, we don't get so good results. Why? Because applying lots of things from outside is not going to solve the issues that are happening inside your body. So focus on the nutrition from inside because hair grow from inside out, not from outside in. That's why don't apply lots of things or don't concentrate on fixing your problems from outside. If you want good hair, you, you want strength in your hair, you have to treat it from inside always remember this even i have my own brand that's weherbal.in till now i haven't launched a single shampoo single conditioner why because i can't find one that's more natural that's having least chemicals i'm not able to make it till now as it will be you will come to know but till now according to my experience it's very hard to add less chemicals maximum of the stuff that is in the market that has lots of chemicals it's okay to use in shampoo but even conditioner you can do many diys that can give you good effects as conditioner you can try them so try to use least chemical on your scalp on your face and these things will help you third mistake is about combing your hair too much or too hard yes this will damage your hair this will cause hair fall because you are too much brushing your hair you are too much irritating your scalp and these things will create damages to your hair also or to your scalp if you don't want this don't brush too often i'm not saying not to comb or not to brush your hair but i'm saying not to do it too much the last mistake that i would like to share with you that's very common is deciding how many times to wash your hair according to others recommendation understand this never do this you have to decide according to your scalp condition when or your hair condition when you have to wash your hair for some people maybe they can go without washing their hair two three days it's okay for them even some people i know they can go without washing their hair for five days also six days also so it depends upon person to person no one in the world can tell you that okay you should wash your hair after one day or two days maybe you did lots of sports or you were traveling a lot your hair has lots of dust or they are too much oily then you have to wash them. You have to see, you have to feel, and you have to take decision according to your hair and scalp condition. Never listen to anyone on this and take good care of your hair. I hope this video will be helpful for you. See you in next video with a big smile up to the time. Smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.